What's up, guys? So a few of you had been asking for a tour of the home gym. So the podcast studio, it's here in the basement. And then out here is the gym. So I'm going to give you a tour of this place. Um, and I think I'm going to start with, with the decorations. And then we'll get into the equipment. So just a bunch of stuff that I've collected. I've got my, my new mutant flag, thanks to George, right here. And then some posters. This is, uh, I got this one and that Ronnie poster over here, as well as the Mike Menser poster um, from a couple of clients. Shout out to Musa and Sonny. They pitched in and got these. And then I've got some, some signed pictures up there. There's Tom Platts and a bunch of the mutant guys over here. And uh, John Hansen, good friend of mine. And um, last but not least, I remember when I was a kid looking up to Lee Haney. So now I can look up to Lee while I'm training here in the gym every day. Um, you know, mainly it's just Victoria and I that train here, but we, uh, you know, we'll, I'll bring clients over from time to time, especially if we're trying to experiment and, and try to figure out how to work on something, like how to get better activation out of their lats, for instance. So this is where I do a lot of my fun work is with the dumbbells. We've got the heavy dumbbells set up over here. Uh, they go up to 150 with a couple of gaps, like I'm missing 120s and 105s. And then I've got some lighter ones over here. And these hex dumbbells, I have had literally since I was about 14 years old. I saved my money and I bought these. And there's even a sticker still from like MC Sporting Goods where this says like $18 back then. So it's funny those are still on there. They've lasted that long. Um, power rack, got to have a good power rack in your home gym, right? So this is a hammer strength, uh, you know, open rack. And um, yeah, do anything you want on this. I, uh, I've got the transformer bar set up on here currently, Kabuki strength. This thing is fun, uh, 55 pounds, I believe this is. And then, uh, you know, your classic, just regular Olympic bar. I've got like a few little odds and ends, some random pads and bars that that Elite FTS shoulder saver pad is freaking awesome for a barbell bench. Um, let's see, Kabuki strength bar over here and uh, some other little random stuff. I have enough plates too. There's like 24 of them, I believe, in the gym. So I never really have to walk too many plates around. Oh, I didn't mention, this is the, the coolest bench. This is like my all-time favorite bench, the, the Hammer Strength Utility Bench. It weighs a ton. It's not going anywhere, and I love that angle. That's my old bench over there. It's a Cybex bench, and I'd like to get rid of that one next. I um, guess we're going here. This body weight or body master's hack has, to me, this is like the perfect angle. This sled weighs a ton. Like this is a heavy, heavy hack squat, but to me, this is this is basically a perfect hack, and uh, I absolutely love it. By the way. We're in the basement, so I had to take all of these pieces apart to get them down the stairs and uh, then reassemble them once I got here. This was actually, the foot plate was the heaviest piece out of all the equipment I have. It was so difficult to get this thing down here. Um, next, we've got an old uh, chest press. This is a converging chest press by a company called F-Light. They were later bought by Icarian, but this is an original F-Light. Good feel. It's a nice secondary movement for chest. So a lot of times I'll be over here doing the dumbbells and then I'll use this as a secondary movement. Um, and then basically from there, we've got a bunch more leg. If you didn't notice, there's a theme here, leg equipment. We've got the hack squat over there. We've got this old school, I'm gonna say this is like probably 90s, late 80s universal uh, extension, along with uh, the matching hamstring curl is over here. And then uh, this Nautilus Explode leg press, which is really interesting the way this thing works because the, the plate as this comes down, it moves. So the bottom sweeps out. And it took me a while to figure it out, but depending on which peg you load, it actually changes the strength curve because that bottom peg is moving a lot further than uh, the top peg is. And it's also, you can see it's hinged 
up here. So I believe there's a sticker on this somewhere that it came out of a, a high school. No, it came out of a college, property of Barry College at one point. I bought this from a gym that had closed down. So we're coming toward the end here. This piece has a special place in my heart. Uh, this is my pull down and my low row. This piece in particular was owned by my dad's friend. And I used to go to his house when I was like 15 years old and do pull downs. We trained back there because he had the pull down. Um, and when he moved to a condo, he had, uh, he had gifted it to me. So it is now mine and uh, it's, it's good. There's, there's, there's not a lot of weight taken off. It's pretty heavy. And then we load this with the small plates. So these are all my old original plates that I've had since I was a kid. Uh, my dad bought me a lot of these um, when I was about 15 years old. We upgraded to the steel plates. So I've got these over here. I had a weight tree for all the other plates, but really I felt like I didn't need them because you've got, you know, you've got storage pegs here. You've got storage pegs on the hack squat. You've got storage pegs on this. So there was no real need, you know, tons of storage pegs over here as well. So I got rid of that. And then, you know, like I said, we've got this guy over here. And then this is just a random basket of, you know, attachments and bands. And not all the bands are up here right now. We've got a ton of bands. And then last but not least, you gotta have some good cardio. So this is my treadmill, Life Fitness treadmill. I got this thing for a really good deal. I mean, all this stuff I bought secondhand, but this thing is the bomb. And you literally, you feel like you're walking you know, in the gym. This thing is, uh, I'm so grateful for it. Best treadmill that I, I could have ever imagined having. But yeah, so anyway, that's the, uh, that's the tour of the gym. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'd be curious to hear, you know, what you think. I'd like to see if I could fit in maybe like one more piece. I'd like to see if I could get like um, a row. That would be sweet. If I could find some type of space for some type of a row machine. You know, it, Victoria likes to have some room still so she can do like floor exercises and everything. Um, there's a lot of little tips and tricks, things that we do in here that I could show you, but I wanted to try to keep this short and sweet. So anyway, thanks for checking it out.